dark magic. Look at all these nice people. And a big a pizza. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we're on our way to Slice of Vegas, which is a pizza restaurant in Las Vegas, Nevada, specifically in the Mendably Bay shop. I just woke up, I'm super, super edematous, super puffy, geez louise, that's what eating does to you. But anyway, so today we're doing this challenge, it's absolutely crazy, doing it for my friend Derek, my main man Derek, which if you're not familiar with him, Heavy D, definitely check him out, his link will be in the description below. Please subscribe to him because he's doing something absolutely crazy for his 1,000 subscriber special. He is going to do 100 miles on a freaking stationary bike in a gym and drink 100 ounces of some kind of substance, which I'm not going to talk about. But anyway, after that, so today it's going to be a nine pound pizza. It's a nine pound pizza. This is a pizza Randy Santel failed. It is an absolutely huge pizza. It's double, like, there's two pizzas basically on top of each other. Just loaded with jalapenos. It's very, very spicy. We got capicola, ham, pepperoni. You got like all kinds of meats, all kinds of vegetables. It's just absolutely insane. So let's go see what we can do. I we're gonna wire complete it. If not, it's 70 bucks. Man, this is gonna be a hell of a time. If we can do it, you get it for free and a t-shirt. And only about four or five people have ever beaten it out of maybe like 40 attempts. So Fingers crossed and let's go. All right, everyone, so here we are with the massive pizzas, all three of them here. So yeah, it's like nine pounds, loaded jalapenos. This crust is big as heck and it's super dense. They kind of vary in size a little bit, but let's just get this done. That's all we need to do. So let's have some fun. So we have one hour. Time starts when we take our first bite. Do you want to wait a minute? No, we're good. Feel that. I mean, it's really yeah. It's like super hot on the bottom, but the top layer is kind of cool now. Yeah, so we're just we're just gonna send it. Cool so send. let's see what we can do, guys. Don't burn yourselves. Be safe. Yolo. All right. Well, try to get a cheer. Peace. Yeah. Try to cheers. Ooh, that is Three, super hot. Two, one. Yeah, let's get cheers. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Thank you for coming. All right. Good luck, everybody. Three, two, one. That's a taste pizza. Very moist. And there's the jalapenos. That is spicy. Oh, they are spicy. Pretty good. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at Slice of Vegas in Las Vegas, Nevada. So here doing their massive, massive, massive pizza challenge. And honestly, I would go as far to say this is the pizza challenge from hell. That is right. So this pizza challenge pushes you to the max, not only on capacity, but also in heat level. This thing was incredibly spicy. And that spice along with all that food just builds up in your stomach. Those hot oils just make you feel so uncomfortable. Uh, anyway, you can tell I'm reliving some kind of trauma watching this video. But that here with Mr. Heavy D, here with Miss Reyna, and we were all, well, eh, some of us were more excited than others to get into this pizza. Anyway, um, so I think we did a little bit of eating earlier in the day, which is definitely not a good idea. This was a very big challenge, and one not to be underestimated. You do have an hour. But by no means do you let that time fa uh, fool you. Like, you really need a lot of that time, even if, in my opinion, you are quite an experienced eater. Like, it's not a five minute challenge. After about five minutes in, ooh, it is spicy, it's very hot, like Jim Joe. I'm like blazing hot, I'm sweating. Randy's doing well. We've got Derek, literally, literally just with me, we're up in both about half top pizza. Oh, but it is spicy. Yeah, spicy. And I'm sweating. Ooh. You're not first ever eating it. You finally on the form of fat because you sweat. It is. I, I usually don't sweat, but I'm sweating everybody, so. Ugh. Let's keep it moving. I sound like Randy there. Keep it moving. Oh, excuse me. There was a bit of variation in the sizes of the pizza. The gentleman said they range from about seven and a half, eight pounds, all the way to about nine and a half. And we saw the variation within even our challenges. Uh, we gave Raina the smallest one, we gave Derek the second smallest one, and I took the biggest one, hoping that it would in tune lead to, you know, the likelihood of success for all of us increasing. Does anybody accidentally jump something in their pants while they're in this job? Uh, we've had people bar, no one's ever <laughs> we did have someone shit afterwards, but they were being 
Might be a first today, guys. <coughs> Record for fastest time to shoot. As I mentioned, we did some eating earlier, and my stomach really was kind of bugging me. It wasn't, it didn't feel very good going into this. And then, like I said, just that accumulation of jalapenos on hot oils and oils from the rest of the food. Oh man, it just didn't sit well. So there was absolutely like so many toppings on this pizza. It was loaded with capicola, with ham, with bacon, like all these cured meats and all these kinds of, well, they're a little fattier meats, but like they were delicious. So I loved the meat aspect, but there was actually like almost too much when you had so many jalapenos. Jalapenos. And although I can't believe that I actually just said there was too many like toppings or too much meat on a pizza, in this situation it just had to be said. If you had one slice, it'd be great. When you're having like nine, nine and a half pounds of this, and there legit must have been like two pounds of jalapenos, honestly, because just so many. Originally the plan was to kind of pick them all off um, and then leave them till the end, but when there was literally a two-layered pizza, like a pizza on top of one another, it made that impossible. So you just kind of had to eat them. You guys good? Rain is frozen. Yeah, right. I'm not moving. Derek's doing well, keep keep moving. Marina's back to moving now. We're both doing good. Whoa. And that's the best way I would say to describe this pizza. Like, I just heard it was a very thick pizza, but it literally is like one pizza and then like one complete pizza. And then they took an exact same pizza, put it directly on top and just molded the crust together. So that's why the pizza is so thick and the crust is so thick because it literally is two pizzas stacked on top of each other. Again, very, very well dressed, like in regards to the toppings, quality ingredients, but just so many jalapenos. And then again, you can't, pick them off or can't really separate it because the two pizzas are basically baked together. We also had this thing where even when we arrived the pizza challenges had already been sitting out for something like 20 or 30 minutes. Um, however, the, with that double pizza it really maintains the heat and you kind of have that top layer cooling off where that bottom layer is totally insulated by from the bottom with the pan or like the, you know, the tray and then the top layer of the top pizza. So it's like, it's temperature hot, it is spicy hot, and it is a lot of food. You good? What's wrong with you? You're not good. Jimmy, these jalapenos, man, they kill me. I'm glad you like the spicy. Not like this, not when there's like 20 billion of them on the table. But with everybody, I think that's pretty much the rest of it. Um, those of you who've been around for a while, you know I pushed myself. I have made jokingly, but I did say this honestly. I said to Reina, I said, what's the worst case? You know, you push yourself to the absolute limit, and at the end, you either die or you probably throw up, or in my case, you crap your pants. Um, that's about it. So those of you who've been around know I will push myself to the absolute limits. I'm in it for the long ride. I'm glad I wore a tank top, had to take my hat off, I was getting so hot. But, uh, you know, basically, let's tune on in, see what we can do. But undoubtedly, this pizza was doing some damage on us. And really, I would absolutely call this thing the pizza from hell. This thing was just a heck of a challenge, very, very difficult, and at least for us, we were just getting destroyed by it. So let's see if we even win this thing, and let's go. We're about 19 minutes in. We got a crush and a whack of top edge. We got Derek, only three slices left. Oh, Pena is doing well. I'm just not sure why she's in her slices. It's all really hot. Like temperature and spice guys, so it's kicking our butts, but just gotta do it. Full set. Full set.
different kind. <laughs> this, is like, this is like constantly hitting my tummy. I don't want to enter into your guys' conversations. I don't know what you're talking about. One piece of crust left, probably about 27 minutes in. Then some toppings to like jalapenos. Brand Derek, good about. Yeah. Where are we at for time? Definitely really spicy. If you like spicy, you'll be able to do this, but man, it's a 
with a big juicy pizza. I'll tell you that much. Now I'm just gonna burn. Rain is done. Derek, still going? Still going. We're just gonna shut off the camera. Appreciate your support. Hopefully different. this time I look like I live. Nice to see you all. Let's get through it. Everybody, so that challenge absolutely destroyed us all. Uh, luckily, uh, able to finish. Derek, okay, huge shout out to Derek. We turned the camera off, but man, that guy got so damn close. He really pushed it, he brought himself to the end. And that's what it needs to take, that's what it does take. It's just mind over matter, pushing it in, and he definitely did that real well. Uh, good job to Raina as well, she gave it a good shot. So that everybody, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Really, very nice people here at Slice of Vegas. A huge, huge pizza. Very spicy, did not expect all those jalapenos on it. But hey, if you want a crazy food challenge, honestly, even just ordering it, that was a very delicious pizza. It was interesting, it was two layers. Um, like I said, literally one pizza on top of the other. But really good pizza, so thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed, until next time. Oh yeah, happy eating. Everybody, airport three out of four today, and at that I want to first off talk about traveling with my beautiful Crave Crate. So my beautiful Crave Crate here. It wasn't until I got into Canada that I started getting weird looks about it. I think everybody thinks I'm packing burgers.